Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am sharing five breakfast ideas with you all. I know a lot of people work from home since COVID, so I'm going to be sharing some breakfast that you can kind of make that take a little bit longer, but I'm also going to show you some quick breakfasts too when you're in a rush to get into the office or do the school run. I really hope you like the idea of these breakfasts. These are breakfasts that we eat really, really often and they are firm family favorites of ours. I'll list all the ingredients and quantities down below Below in my description box so if you want to make these at home I'll make it really simple for you to follow along. With all that said I'm just going to get straight on into these. I hope you enjoy them and let's get cooking. So for this breakfast I thought I would show how I like to have my porridge. So what I have done here is I've already cooked up my porridge just to make it a little bit quicker. I've just used some like normal oats and then I have popped in some oat milk in here as well and then I've just put it into the microwave for two and a half minutes and that's cooked through really really nicely. Then what I have got here is three apricots that I've just diced up. I always like to have three apricots a day just to kind of get everything going and working in my body. I've also diced up just a quarter of a banana. I'm not actually normally a massive banana fan. I don't like to eat them on their own but in a porridge I just love them. So I I've just done a quarter of a banana there. Then I have got this kind of mix here. This is flax seeds, sunflower, pumpkin, chia seeds, and goji, goji berries, all in here in like powder kind of form. And then I have also got this really nice local honey that we can buy here in Brighton. So what I'm going to do now that my porridge is cooked, I'm just going to lay on my apricot, then my banana and my chia seeds mix. I like to kind of do it in a nice looking fashion, just so it's nicely presented. And then I get nearly a teaspoon of honey and I just drizzle it over the top and then it's ready to eat. This is such a yummy breakfast and it is so filling. You really don't need much porridge at at all because you have so many extra little bits going on top of here. So this breakfast is really nice and simple and quick. So what I've got here is some sourdough bread. You can choose whatever bread you like. I've got Moroccan style hummus. I've got this rose harissa, which is absolutely delicious, packed full of flavor. And then I've got one egg. So I'm just gonna show you what I use to serve one person. But if you prefer two eggs, totally up to you. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm going to get some water onto the boil and once the water is boiling, I'll pop my egg in there for six minutes. This is the best way to get a hard outside yet a nice runny yolk of your egg. While that is cooking, I'll be toasting up one piece of sourdough bread and then when that is ready, I'm going to put a generous amount of Moroccan style hummus over the top. Then I'm going to add one teaspoon of the rose harissa, spread that around and by this time your egg will have finished cooking. So I will just peel it and then I'll pop it on the top, cut it up. And as you can see, the yolk is just oozing onto your sourdough bread and it's mixing in with your Moroccan style hummus and your harissa to make such a delicious breakfast. Right, so this breakfast is super easy, but it's so delicious. It's just like a creamy mushrooms on toast. So what I've got here is one thin leek that I have cut up. This is gonna serve two people. So I've got one thin leek. I've got about eight mushrooms here. So I kind of do about four mushrooms per person. And then I just cut them up into kind of slices like that. I have got some sourdough bread, some soft cheese, one vegetable stock cube, and then I've got some salt and pepper and some olive oil. This stock cube would actually actually do four people. So um, lots of the time I use a crumbly stock cube and then I just use half. So I'm actually just gonna use half of this stock cube today as well. So what I'm gonna start off by doing is getting my leeks and my mushrooms into a pan. I put a little bit of oil in there as well. And I'm just gonna fry those off for a couple of minutes until they kind of cook through and they wilt down. Once they have wilted down, I'm then going to add in some soft cheese. So for two people, I'll probably add in one or two tablespoons of soft cheese. And then, like I said, half of my stock cube along with about 50 mils of water. And then I will just season this to taste. I will then just mix everything together until it's nicely combined. And as you can see, the mushrooms and the leeks have gone really lovely and creamy. 
While that's all cooking through, I'll be putting my sourdough bread into the toaster to toast through before serving up. So I'll just lay my toast on a plate and then I will spoon a generous amount of my creamy leeks and mushrooms over the top. You can add some salt and pepper to this again if you want to, but it is honestly just delicious as it is. Okay, so this breakfast is going to become salmon and eggs on crumpets. So instead of you using like the normal bread, this is a really, really good alternative. So what I have done here, this is gonna be for Chris and I. So I've done four eggs, so I just do two per person. I've added in a little bit of milk and then some salt and pepper, and then I've just beaten the eggs up. I've got some crumpets, I'll do two per person, and then I haven't got much salmon left, but I've got a little bit, which is just perfect because I'll just like slice this up and then sprinkle a little bit on top of the eggs when they're done. So what I'm gonna do is get my eggs into a pan and I'm just going to scramble them. For us, we like to scramble them like on a low temperature and we don't like to cook them through too much, just enough until your egg starts to come together, but it's still got a nice sort of soft texture to it. While that's cooking, I'll be putting my crumpets into my toaster and when they come out, I'm gonna put a light covering of butter on the top before scooping on some of my scrambled egg and then finishing it off with some salmon. If you have some chives, that is really nice. It's sprinkled over the top of here as well, or some spring onions. It makes a really, really nice garnish and it gives it an extra bit of flavor. So this breakfast is like one of our favorite things to have at the weekends. So what I like to buy is the frozen croissants. You can have fresh ones if you'd prefer, totally up to you, but I just keep these in the freezer and then they never go off. You can just pull out how many as you want, whenever you want them. So like I said, I've got these, I've got some ham and I've got some cheese. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm just gonna get my oven onto 180 degrees centigrade and I'm gonna cook these croissants for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes is up, I'm going to take them out and then carefully cut them in half. And then I'm gonna put in some of the cheese and some of the ham. Then they're gonna go back into the oven for another five minutes or so, or just until your cheese is really nicely melted. So that when you take the croissants out, you have a gooey, oozy middle of cheese. This is so nice, it is a little bit naughty, but honestly, once you try it and once you have a fresh one at home and not a shop bought one, you will be making these as your weekend treats too. So those are the five breakfast ideas I wanted to share with you today. I really hope you like the look of them. I would probably say the creamy mushrooms is my favorite, but I do just love them all. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.